Hi, Theo here, putting together a video for you on Tractor Pro 2, beat gridding, having perfect beat matching all the time. Uh, first thing that you need to do to follow along here is you've got to make sure you have the right settings, and up here, top right, you've got the settings tab, of course, you should know that, it's very simple, little cogwheel, and when your settings are up, go to the transport tab, and make sure that you're using beat sync instead of tempo sync and down here make sure you're using snap mode on the mouse instead of vinyl when I play I will put that back to vinyl but when I'm doing this I use snap on the dex tab make sure that your grid mode is full and when I'm playing you know once again I'll change that to dim and I only put this to full to do uh, the beat gridding this play marker position is how much room in front of the track there will be, as you can see to the right there. So just put that somewhere you're comfortable with. Uh, the rest you can figure out for yourself. It's all the basic settings that you should familiarize yourself with anyway. Once those settings are in play, you can close that. You'll notice that this means we can see the grid very well, and the mouse will snap to these to the beat grid. All right. Okay, so that just makes our job easier. When it comes to the beat gridding, uh, you can use this tick feature, the metronome, which is built into Tractor, uh, but I do find it quite annoying because it drifts on and off, and although I'm sure that has a purpose, it doesn't sit well with my ear, and I like to do things in a more audible fashion, the old-fashioned way, I guess you could say, with a touch of technology and the new way. Uh, so one thing that I do is I use a, a very basic drum loop with a kick and some percussion. Uh, you could just use a simple track if you want. You don't want any weird bass lines and stuff. Just a simple kick and some percussion. And this loop, I will, um, I will set it up and I'm going to use it to beat match every track in my collection. That's the way I do it, right? So with this snap feature, like I said, we can snap to the first beat. And with Tractor Pro 2, we have this feature where we can zoom right in there, and you can see the waveform. All right, I'm going to unlock it because I lock it when I'm done. These top two, left, right. This is the grid section, by the way. In case you're not there, it's sometimes hidden. Uh, you want to go to the grid section. These top two arrows, left and right, will move your initial grid marker. Okay. Tractor will always place that first grid marker for you somewhere, and you just got to move it around. So as you can see, there is is into the beat, there is at the beginning, and there is too far to the left. So that is clearly the start of my kick, and because of this uh, snap feature, I can actually skim through the track and make sure that the BPM is correct as well. All right? If the BPM wasn't correct, like it's 124, and that's good for this track. If it was 123.999 or something, you see how it starts to move away from where it should be. All right, 124 is correct on this one, so I'm leaving that as is. I zoom back out. We'll snap to the front of the track here, and I'm going to lock it because I know that it's done, and that's how I can remember that I've I've done this track because I haven't done all of the tracks that I add to my collection. I kind of do it as I need them and as I as I add them sort of thing. Um, that's pretty much it for getting your first one set up. Once you're set up you've got your simple loop or track and you've placed your beat grids where you can visually see that there's nowhere else they could be and that is the exact start of the beat. And uh, We're going to use this loop or track to beat match the rest of your collection. Now here's one I've done earlier and then we'll do one from scratch. So I'm just going to unlock it and we'll click on that first one there. We'll zoom right in and here we have, as you can see, start of the beat looks good. There would be no good. There would be no good. There is perfect. And the snap feature, we can go through the waveform and we can see that it's all perfect. right? Now that I can see it's all perfect, I want to check, you know, by ear that it is perfect. And so I can just put this track over here on a loop. 
Alright, this is my simple kick with a little percussion. And over here, I'm going to just make sure that it's right. Alright, I can hear that that's absolutely perfect. If you want to hear the difference, you can put it off a couple. I don't know if you can hear that on the mic. But that is absolutely perfect right there. the track. Now that I know it's perfect, it's done and locked. Uh, let's just pick the next one here. I'm going to load it into my deck. We'll let Tractor scan it and make its decision. Alright, so Tractor's done its thing. I click on the first one, it snaps to the beat grid. I'm going to zoom right in. Uh, I can see that Tractor put it a little bit, little bit over there. So I'm going to say, well, it's either that one or that one, right? So I'm just going to remember that if it's to go anyway, I'm going to go to the right, okay? So I snap to that, and I'm going to skim through the track. And we can notice it's a little bit all over the place. I notice down here 163.003. I'm going to see what happens if I put it to 00. No, it doesn't look right. So perhaps Tractor was right at least on the BPM. And it's 003. It's definitely not 004. Okay, now I just got to test by ear. Can lower the volume of this one. that's wrong. I move it that way I can hear it's wrong. And I can hear that that is right perfect. Alright, I'm going to lock the track up. Now it's done. Okay, rinse and repeat. Just do that with all of your tracks and you will find that everything will always be perfectly beat matched. The only important thing for you is that you do, you utilize the same method with your entire collection uh, so that they're, they're all correct, right? Don't start switching up your method. And that's why it's a good idea to just have this this one track that you're going to use as, as sort of your base track that you're going to beat match everything to. Alright, it's really that simple these days. A um, little bit of technology, a little bit of using your ear just to confirm. Sometimes, uh, in fact, you know, I didn't plan on picking this track, I just picked whatever. Uh, you can see that it was a little bit, it wasn't as clean as it could have been uh, in the visual format. So we got it roughly where we thought it might be. Then we check by ear and just make sure that we can't fine-tune it any better than that. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video, and enjoy your beat gridding.